to plan to build 3D printed pressure washer is to find one bucket and fill this with water. It will stand on legs and at the bottom of the bucket is connected to water pump. It will use 775 motor and got power from some battery. Water pump design this time is a bit more complex as usually. It will have planetary gearbox inside. Gear ratio will be 4 to 1. In this gearbox, planet gears are stationary. Sun gear is driven by an electric motor and the impeller will have ring gear inside. Three body parts will be connected with bolts and silicon. The last thing is to connect the hose to the water pump and hopefully we will have working pressure washer. Stay tuned. I start with legs. I find some metal thing what was chair in the past I think and give it a quick sanding. And for some reason I paint this to red. Now I find one 25 liter bucket what will fit perfectly for my needs. I have to make hole to the bottom where later I can connect the water pump. It's not really important how big the hole will be at this time because I have not designed the water pump just yet. I took measurements from random spray gun. First cut, then measure. Totally my style. I put one piece of wood what will be connected to the legs and where the bucket will stand on. It should look something like this. Now I shirt some random sized bolts to connect wood to the legs. Ok, everything looks fine over here. Now it's time to build water pump. First I connect motor to the bottom body, using some silicon. Next I attach sun gear to the motor shaft. The fit have to be really tight, so it took some force. It's really important to use some lubrication everywhere where it's moving parts or the plastic will heat up and start melting. When the sun gear is nicely in place, I can install planets. When the water pump is all together, then it's time to give it a test. Using 12 volts power drill battery. Everything looks working fine, so let's go outside and let's attach this to the bucket.
Now when everything is almost ready to test, this happened. This made me a bit frustrated, but before I fix this, I give it a fast test to see if everything is watertight as it should be. And I think it looks pretty fine. So I use some super glue and fiberglass to get this fastly fixed. I know this is not the prettiest thing in the world, but it works, so whatever. And now finally I can test this first time. And when I saw this, I just had no words. The water flow is just so weak that it is totally useless for any application. But for sure this is not over yet. First thing what came in my mind is to use some stronger power supply. I took power straight from my car battery. And the water flow increased but not enough to call this to pressure washer. And this design is useless and a big fail. But I have one video where I build really high performance water pump and test out 4 different impellers. So I had a idea to take that exact same water pump and with the best impeller and connect this to my system. If you are interested what impeller performed the best, you have to check the video out, link in the description. Now here we are, water pump is connected and powered by power drill battery. When I start this up, water pump start leaking. Well, this was not designed for this application anyway, so it doesn't matter right now. But the water flow is increased, but still not some heavy pressure. I think when that water pump is not leaking so rapidly, this increased flow even a bit more. This is actually more optimal to water the flowers than wash the car, but at least it is possible to use for some application now. If you have any idea how to make this project work, then please let me know in the comments down below, because I am interested to make part 2. This project is not giving me peace inside. If you can help me somehow, please do it. And also, what you think? Will you like to see this type of experiment videos in the future, or I should keep making more tutorial style videos? Thank you for your opinion. But I think I go and save my battery from the sinking. And also end this video over here right now. So if you did like my effort to this project then I am really thankful when you hit the subscribe button and like this video if you did like this video. But see you guys next time, right now, bye.